Hello everyone and welcome back to the RA Visuals YouTube channel where you'll always find high quality visuals and high quality tech. So keyboards, yep, we haven't done a keyboard review in quite some time here. So today I figured why not show you guys one that is a little different from the usual, you know, compact, say like 60% or 65% keyboards we usually review here on this channel and some that I've built like a ton of. So today what we have here is the Royal Kludge RK89, which is a compact 85% keyboard that's hot swappable and comes in at just 70 bucks. That's right, you get to keep the number pad and everything, you still get to keep that compact design, and you can use any switch you'd like in it basically out there without having to solder anything. I'm super stoked about it if you can't tell, and hopefully you guys are too, so let's get this thing unboxed right after a word from our sponsor. Are you tired of that annoying Windows activation watermark on your desktop? VIP URCD key has you covered with fully licensed codes to activate your favorite games and software. Purchasing your key is super easy. All you have to do is click on the item that you want, click buy to add it to your cart. Once in your cart, you can now enter my promo code RAV20. After adding the promo code, you'll see your savings pop up and you can then purchase your product with your chosen payment method. Finding and entering your Windows 10 CD key is super easy. All you have to do is go over to your user profile, find your purchase and click view keys and codes to reveal your new CD key. Then all you have to do is go to settings in Windows, click on update and security, click on activation, and finally click on change product key and paste your new key into the window and click next. You'll now have a fully licensed version of Windows 10 with no watermark. Check the links in the description to start saving now. All right, opening the box of the RK89 is pretty standard. Although I personally have never reviewed a Royal Kludge product before, so I'm hoping to see something maybe a little different from them. You first get a nice RK branded switch and keycap puller, which is nice. And already hitting me with something different, we have an extra set of red switches that they included in the box. Unfortunately though, guys, these look like they're the cheap Otemu Reds, but I'll explain a little bit more about that when we get to the keyboard and look at the switches on it. Lastly, you also get a nice matching USB-C cable in case you don't already have one to use. Taking the RK89 out of its packaging, you can see it's all white colorway, and from what I can see on their site, it's only available in this color with what they call the blue backlighting. So unfortunately guys, no full RGB here, but don't worry when you see the lighting on this white chassis, you won't be disappointed. It's a very clean look if that's what you guys are trying to go for. Turning the keyboard to its side, you can see that it has a nice ergonomic tilt with adjustable feet so you can adjust the tilt in two different orientations. On the back of the board, you'll find a couple of switches that toggle the different wireless modes that this board features, as well as a little cutout that stores your wireless dongle. It's also magnetic, which is really awesome, so it stays in there nice and snug when it's not being used. The RK89 features three different connection modes, including Bluetooth 5.0, hassle-free 2.4 gigahertz wireless with the included dongle, and the wired connection using the USB-C cable. And as soon as you connect the board, it'll light up to indicate that it is in use. Now, Bluetooth is actually pretty cool because you're able to connect it to three different devices as well. But here's where the wheels fall off just a little bit, you guys. So my experience with this keyboard's wireless functions was very similar to a lot of other budget keyboards that I've reviewed before. So wireless and Bluetooth, they do work, but you actually have to have the wireless dongle in a position that is very close to the board for it to function correctly. And the same goes for the Bluetooth. I find that if it's even a couple of feet between the board and your device, your typing starts to skip around a little bit and becomes erratic. So make sure you guys keep that in mind. Of course, on the other hand though, the USB-C connection works perfectly and I've had zero issues with it. And it's also my favorite type of connection because you can use your really cool cables if you have them. And you can also have the option to use the two included USB pass-throughs in front of the board, which is huge if you're someone like me who uses a ton of peripherals in your setup, or even if maybe you have a wireless mouse in your setup that you need to plug in. It's very, very handy. When you plug the board in with a USB-C cable, the board will start charging its 1850 mAh battery, which will give you about 60 hours of wireless use time with the lighting off, of course, and somewhere around half of that with the lighting on. 
and the board does automatically shut the lighting off for you to save the charge when it's not in use. So that's a nice touch to help you save on constantly plugging it in if you're someone that uses it uh, wirelessly full time. All right, like I said, there's no RGB action on this board, but it does still have backlighting so you can fully customize it just like any other board. So there is a wide array of different lighting patterns you can toggle and you can even adjust the brightness up and down and you can adjust the speed up and down of the effect using the function keys that are already present on the RK89's keycaps. And before you get angry that there's only blue backlighting on this keyboard and click away from this video, hear me out really quick. If you're into the blue and white color scheme or anything around that that matches it, you're really gonna like what I'm about to do to this keyboard, so just stick with me real quick. Taking a look at the build of the RK89, it has an all ABS plastic chassis, but there are a couple little surprises tucked into this board that you may not expect for its price. First and foremost is the light up badge area. On the upper right side, there's a little RK badge that lights up to show the logo that looks pretty cool, I think. And second is the detachable frame. You can actually pull the outer frame off of the board to give it a different look, and this actually exposes the badge area we just talked about. And if you really wanted to, you can pull the little cover off and replace it with your own badge or your own logo or something like that to give the board your own unique look. Pretty cool customization option they have there. The RK89 comes with a full set of double shot ABS keycaps, which actually do look nice in the all white color scheme, but we have other plans, so let's get those things off of there. Underneath those keycaps are the RK branded red switches. Remember the extra switches I said they come in the box? Yeah, these are not the same. The extra switches that come in the box seem to be the cheaper Otemu switches that come in very, very cheap mechanical keyboards, while the switches that are actually in the board seem to be exactly the same as a standard Gatoron red switch with the RK logo on them, which are very respectable switches and are great to run once they're lubed and ready to go. So this was a nice surprise for me to see that adds even more value to this board. I'm gonna go ahead and remove these switches and just replace them with one of my favorite clear housing switches, the Everglide Aqua Kings. These are a 62 gram polycarb switch that come fully factory lubed, so they're just very easy to drop into a build. I'll have these linked down below as well if you guys are interested in picking them up. Before we replace those switches, let me show you a couple of the coolest things about this board that make it super easy to get an awesome sound out of it. First, RK has fully dampened this board from the factory. They include a layer of foam on the top that you can see underneath the space bar, a five millimeter layer of foam between the PCB and the top plate, and then another three millimeter layer of foam on the bottom of the chassis. So this kind of foam mod is a mod that I always do to my budget boards anyway, so it's pretty awesome they already have that included. Something else that RK have already pre-modded on this board for you are the stabilizers. They have clearly already tuned and heavily lubed the stabilizers of this board, and they feel very solid out of the box and very smooth. So unless you're extremely nitpicky about your keyboard sound, or you wanna completely change the stabilizers out, these ones that come with it should be just fine as they come. Now with these two mods already done in mind, I can't see any reason to fully crack open the board and do any more mods, so I just decided to stick with the basics here, switches and keycaps. For keycaps, I decided I really wanted to let that blue LED light in the board shine through, so I pulled out a set of pudding keycaps from Saba Keys in the blue and white colorway. So I figured these would match the board extremely well and give it a little better accent color than just the all white. Oh, and this set didn't come with the correct size zero key for the number pad on the board, so I just threw in a little random artisan keycap I had laying around. What a cute little guy. With the keyboard built, I decided to add a blue and white coiled cable that I got off Etsy a long time ago, and one of my favorite desk pads from the collection of pads that a company called One of Zero sent me not too long ago. I did a full video on all of these pads, so you can check them out in the link if you guys are interested in looking at them. So with the RK89 looking super clean and our setup matching it, the only thing here left to do is test the sound profile of this board with the new switches and keycaps. So this is the part of the video where I'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and leave me a comment down below telling me what you think of the look and sound of this board. And if you don't even care about the board, you just wanted to watch the video and you're here still, just go ahead and down there and say hello or something, that'd be cool. Other than that, be sure to get subscribed to the channel if you're not already so you can see my future content. And without further ado, Enjoy the sound test and I'll catch you guys in the next video.